I'm really thirsty. Can you get me some water? Um, yeah, sure. Bear back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. I'm back. Yay. Did you miss me? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thanks. It's good. Now where were we? Wow, that water went through me really fast. I have to pee. I'll be right back. JJ. Yeah. Do you not want to kiss me? Do you not want to kiss me? Um, no, it's not that. I've just, I've just never kissed a boy before. Well, I've never kissed anyone actually. Oh, well, I don't mind. I can teach you. I always thought my first kiss would be with a girl because I thought I was a lesbian, but you confuse me. I get that a lot. Really? No. I think, I think I want to kiss you. Okay. Hold on, there's something I have to do first. This is a big girl moment. Calls for a big girl hairstyle. Okay. You look good. Okay, come here. I'm here. Ready? Yeah. You? I guess. Yeah. Don't be nervous. You're gonna love it. Okay. I really hope so. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Carlos. I'm gay. I'm definitely gay. Okay. That did absolutely nothing for me. Okay. Balls. Sure. Wow. I feel so much better. Everything is so clear now. Happy I could be of service. Well, I'm gonna go. See you at school tomorrow. See ya. Why does this always happen to me? Hello, nurse? Yes. What is wrong with you? I have a really bad stomach ache. Sit. I take your temperature to see if you have flu. Okay. You are fine. Go back to class. No, please. My stomach hurts so bad. Can I call my mommy to come pick me up, please? You're just trying to get out of class. I am not stupid. No. When is the last time you've pooped? That's personal. When? Like a few days. No wonder your tummy is aching. You have miles of poop inside of you. Go sit on the toilet. Don't you think I try that? It won't come out. Please, can I just go no, home? No, I will fix you. Sit down. I just remembered. My head hurts too. Hmm. And my vision. It hurts? No, I, I can't see very well. Migraine. No, I think... I think I think I see the light. No, that is my flashlight. I'm so weak, I can't even hold my arms up. Stop it. You're not dying, you just have constipation. It is prebiotic and fiber powder that helps aid digestion and regularity. This will help you. Drink. What is this? If you drink this, it will help you poop. And you will be fine for your science test this afternoon. No! I, I mean... Yay! Elimination of nitrogenous waste is the urinating system! Recovers excess fluids and detects pathogens is the lymphatic system! <laughs> Nutrient breakdown and absorption is the digestive system! Alright, so for this one, you're just gonna sit right here and... Oh shit, uh, let me increase the weight, that's way too light. Okay, you're just gonna grab it like this and pull it straight down and squeeze your sh shoulder blades together. <sighs> okay. One. <sighs> Two. <sighs> Three. <sighs> okay, yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, that was, that was good. Impressive. All right, you try. Okay. Yes, it just like that. Just like this. Hey, let me get it for you. 
are it's probably gonna be pretty difficult so just go easy and if you want me to lessen the weight just like let me know okay like this oh crap did i did i lessen the weight dang yeah i i totally did let me uh increase it for you oh okay all right that should be a little more of a challenge for you I don't feel much of a difference. You know what? I think this one's broken. Let's try a different one. Okay. Hey, dude, can I get one ticket to the brick house at the end of the street? Bruh, that's rated R, bruh. Do you have your ID? No. Mike, I'm literally in your class, bro. You know I'm not of age. Just give me the ticket. All right, I honestly really don't care. But just so you know, that movie's fucking scary, bruh. Are you for real? Yeah, bro, I cried for three days and had to sleep on the floor in my parents' room. Fuck. Oh, but you don't want to look like a pussy in front of your girl. I know, bro. Hey, bro, do you have any weed on you? No. Damn, all right. Well, good luck, bro. You're gonna need it. All right, I got my ticket. You ready to go in? Wait, where are you going? In into the theater. Without popcorn? Uh, no, no, we can get popcorn. Yeah, we need popcorn. That's the best part of the movie. Okay, what the fuck do I wear? There's too many options and none that I like. Well, it's gonna be a movie theater, so it's probably gonna be cold. But if he puts his arm around me, I'm probably gonna get hot. Why does this have to be so difficult? No, 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 no. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. I'm not gonna Wait. This is perfect. Okay, I think this is good. This is cute. <laughs> what if he tries to kiss me? What if my breath stinks? What if it tastes like garlic? I haven't even eaten garlic. <sighs> no. It burns and burns. <sighs> no. It's not good enough. I don't want to be known as the girl with bad breath. Everywhere. She's everywhere. It should be everywhere. Okay, I'm ready. No, I'm not ready. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. What if I'm a bad kisser? What if he's a bad kisser? I'm being dramatic. It's just a movie. It's just a freaking movie. No, it's not. It's never just a movie. So, like, if we're not allowed to do homework, what are we allowed to do? Nothing. You are to sit in silence and think about your bad behavior. That could, that could take a while. Okay, shut up. We have begun. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Hello. I miss you. You look very dapper today. Oh, thanks, baby. I, I like your hair today. Oh, really? You do? Yeah, it looks real sexy. I just got it done yesterday. Well, they did a they did a really good job. I like your mustache. Oh yeah, you like my mustache. Well, I like your lips. Oh, thank you. It's a new lip color. I'm trying it out. But since you like it so much, I'll I'll definitely wear it every day. Yeah, wear it for me every day, baby. So what did you do today? Um, some kid had the shits real bad, so I spent most of the day unclogging the toilet. That sounds that sounds really fun. No, it really it really wasn't fun. Hey, you know what would make my day better if you could send me a photo. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll send you one. Um, Mrs. Smith. Oh, hun, don't call me that. That sounds so formal. Okay, um, Heidi. No, no, call me mom. No. Ah, uh, stepmom is fine, too. You're in a casual relationship with my dad. I don't see the problem. And my parents' divorce isn't even finalized yet. Honey, me and your father have been canoodling long before your parents met. What? You know, it's possible that I might even be a biological mother. The time frame adds up. I don't think it works that way. Honey, don't act like I'm not significantly more experienced and educated than you. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I was going to ask you for advice, but... Now I'm thinking it was a mistake. No, 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 please. I love to give advice. I was going to ask my real mom, but she hasn't come home in three days. Me neither. I wonder how my real daughter is doing. Come sit. Okay. Okay, so I really like this boy named Carlos, and we almost kissed in the school bathroom. How romantic. That's where I lost my virginity. 
Anyway, um, the teacher barged in and we didn't end up kissing. Wow, the same thing happened to me. Except it, it definitely wasn't kissing. I hated that teacher, though. She was a pain in the ass. Yeah, mine is too. I think her name was, um, Mrs. Um, Ass Guy or something. Wait, Mrs. Assman? She's my teacher. No, wait, she's still there? She's still alive? Barely. Anyway, please stop interrupting my story. Sorry. The thing is, I really, really want to kiss him, but I was kind of glad it didn't happen because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never kissed anyone. Didn't you date my daughter? Yeah. I heard all kinds of noises coming from her room when you guys were together. That definitely wasn't me. Oh. Like mother, like daughter. Hey, Emma, do you want to be my New Year's kiss? Oh my god, yeah. I'm losing my girl to someone way hotter than me. I don't think she's hotter than you. Oh my god, don't look. I said don't look. When someone says don't look, it kind of makes you want to look. What am I looking at? My ex-girlfriend is over there. Casey? Isn't she a bitch? Yes, but she was my bitch. Why don't you want her to see you? Because she hates me ever since I broke up with her. Well, she sees you and she is walking this way. Shit. Hey, JJ, how have you been? Good. I'm good, too. Thanks for asking. So, do you have a kiss for midnight? Yep. Call us. What? Oh, that's too bad. I was going to say if you wanted to be mine. We never did get to have our first kiss. You really want to kiss me? You're so funny. Wait, kissing my ex? That would totally make Emma jealous. Casey, wait. Yeah, I'll kiss you. Okay, great. Can't wait. Your lips are so kissable. Which ones? All the girls here are gay, bro. Who am I supposed to kiss? They should like the mic. I guess I'll just kiss a boy. If I have to. Whatever. You ready? Ready. I guess I'll just kiss myself, per usual. I can't watch this. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! <coughs> Loser. What the flick? That's what you get for breaking up with me. <laughs> now, since we sang for you, please donate us money. Yeah, I don't think so. That, that kind of sucked. Dude, we are literally standing here in the freezing cold going door to door and you made us sing for you so now you have to give us money emma is literally probably going to get hypothermia from this probably what are you even collecting money for i need a kidney transplant that's not my problem no that's not true we're actually collecting money so my parents can send me to conversion therapy because they don't want me to be gay i don't want to be gay anymore i need a big man to keep me warm and safe mm. yeah that that well, sounds good to me. Asshole. Yeah, I'm also gay and I need to go too. Here. Thank you. No, not for you. The hot one. Thank you so much. Don't listen to him. Can I uh, get your number? Oh my god, I'm literally 16. What is wrong with you? Oh shit. Honey, who's at the door? Who the hell are they? Well, Christmas hell was. Your husband is flirting with a minor. Again, Donald? Get the fuck out of my house! AJ, AJ, do you want to be my- help? No, get away from me. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that skilled at chemistry, but I am pretty educated in the anatomy department. You're so funny. Sorry about Emma. I know you really like her. It's fine. Well, I know I'm not your first choice and maybe not even your second, but do you want to be my partner? Yeah, sure. For the record, I think Emma is dumb for not wanting to be with you. Really? Yeah, what's well, not to love? You're funny, smart, caring, and really beautiful. Thanks, Carlos. That's really sweet. Okay, everyone grab the beaker in front of you. We're gonna start the lesson. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. That's okay. Okay, this one is for uh, Emma. Oh my god, it's literally wrapped in my favorite color. Whoever my secret Santa is must know me really well. Okay, open it. We haven't got all day. What could it be? Lunch is in 20 and I have a date with Mr. Hickenbottom. The janitor? People like you? Oh my god, it's pink perfume. That's my favorite color. I don't think it's actually pink. I think that's just the box, Emma. I'm gonna try it now. 
Oh my god, it is pink. I'm not gonna have time to freshen up. You could use some of Emma's perfume. No, this is mine. Oh my god. I smell like... Like, like a rainbow unicorn prancing through a field of flowers. It, is that a good smell? Obviously. Thank you, Secret Santa. I love it. Okay, take a guess who your Secret Santa is. Hmm. Kylos? No. Gerald? What? These are really bad guesses. I literally have no idea. It was me, obviously. I, I thought it'd make you smell really pretty. <laughs> JJ, that was so sweet. You ready for our date, gorgeous? Give me that. Hey! Wow, you smell great. Yeah. Um, unlike me, I just unclogged the second floor toilet. Someone had the stomach flu. Sorry. Whatever. You look like a bow anyway. Hey, do not make fun of her for having big boobs. I think they're beautiful. You would, lesbian. That's it. Hold my earrings. Um, you're not wearing any. Oh, right. Now you want a piece of the mic, sir? Excuse me. What is going on over here? She's being so mean to us. What? JJ, why are you antagonizing these boys? Are you freaking for real? Are you kidding me? Get to class. Sorry, Miss Asman. Sorry. Please don't tell my mom. Um, JJ did nothing wrong. Those boys were literally bullying her. They literally started it. JJ, detention. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you out to get me? I am calling your parents. You have been causing too much trouble. Okay, next up we have Mike. What? Did you do the project? What project? Okay. F. Fair enough. JJ, you're up. Time to shine. My presentation by JJ Johnson. Now, can someone tell me the difference between this and this? Yeah, one is bad for you and the other one isn't. Duh. Wong, they're both bad for you. Have you ever noticed that pretty much nobody our age smokes these anymore? But a lot of people smoke these. It's because we've been taught that these are bad for you. So Big Tobacco did a little repackaging and made them cute and colorful to keep us hooked. Which brings me to my next marketing ploy. How natural gas is bad for you. Oh, this project. But it's like natural. It's fine. It has natural in the name. Exactly. The gas industry has developed this term to make us believe that it's safe. But there is nothing natural or safe about it. It is toxic methane gas. Um, wait, like, how is it toxic? Wait, question. Emma, you have asthma, correct? Yeah. 12.7% of childhood asthma is caused by gas stoves in the United States. That's so rude. Yes, yes it is rude. And if your kitchen has poor ventilation, you could have higher levels of nitrogen dioxide than what the EPA considers legal for the outdoors with just a few minutes of stove usage. Which could put you at risk for respiratory issues. So we're like being kept hooked on gas. Yes, we just don't realize it. Companies like Southwest Gas are working in Arizona and Nevada to block any type of ban or restriction on gas as a utility. These restrictions are often proposed to phase out natural gas and move to the electrification of utilities, which would hurt their profit. That's not cool, bro. Oh my god, we should stage like an intervention. Exactly. The end. Great job, JJ. A plus. Really? Does this mean you like me now? No. So this is my room. Wow. It's surprisingly clean. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm just kind of shocked. That I'm clean? Yeah. I, I swear I am. Look. Here's my test results if you don't believe me. What? No, that that's okay. Okay. I really am. You can sit down, get comfortable. Okay. <sighs> you don't look very comfy. I'm comfortable here. This is so comfy. Come on, I don't bite. Unless you're into that. <laughs> I don't know. Come here. Okay. I like your wall color. Thanks. My mom picked it out. It's really nice. So, um, do you want to watch a movie? Yeah, we can do that if you want. 
Okay, what movie do you want to watch? It doesn't matter. I like we're gonna be paying attention. Oh, look! I found the remote. Oh, I like this movie. Oh my, that hurts. Oh look, I love this scene. <laughs> this is so funny. One piece. Sure. Thanks. Throw this away. No, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Carlos here, unfortunately. Mike, yo. JJ, JJ. Absent. Thank God. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Uh. Oh, I um. I didn't realize we were getting a new student today. New student. Are, are you talking to me? Yes. What is your name? Uh, J J Jane. Well, Jane, welcome to the class. Yep, that's me, Jane. You can uh, have JJ seat for now. She's not here today, and hopefully never again. Okay. What? Why is everyone staring at me? J JJ? She thinks I'm Jane. Maybe I won't get yelled at today if she doesn't think I'm me. Hey, Carlos. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I love having my heart shattered into a million pieces. Sorry, I can't help that I'm gay. That's what they all say. What? Um, you look different. Yeah, I know. I look so ugly. I didn't have time to braid my hair this morning. No, like, you look really hot. Hi, did you forget about me? Your girlfriend? Oh my god, I did. I, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just like forget that I'm in a relationship. What? It just like slips my mind sometimes. Like, like when? Um, oh, like, like yesterday when I was at Brody's house. I'm sorry, what? What? Did, did you hook up? Yeah, but I just told you that I forgot I was in a relationship. God, Nova. Nova, sit down. No. What happened? What was that for? Principal's office. Now. Gladly. She is so dramatic. Emma, are you okay? No, I haven't pooped in like two days. Have you eaten anything healthy? No, ew. Why don't you just go sit on the toilet for a bit? I tried that. The most that happens is that I get a little tiny pebble. It's really unsatisfying. Here, try this. You just need to drink some fiber and prebiotics. Ew, I am not drinking this. Okay, good luck with your pebbles. No, but wait, do you drink it? Yes, and I have the best, most satisfying poops. Does it taste bad? No, it actually tastes amazing. And it'll help with digestion and regularity. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll try it. I'm like really desperate. You will need this. Do you just carry this around? You need this too. Oh my god, like where did you get all this stuff? Don't worry about it. Good thing I have really big boobs. Okay, bottoms up, I guess. Oh my god, wait, that actually tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Emma, are you in here? Nova, is that you? Yeah, I came to see how you were doing. I'm having the best poop of my freaking life. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. I'll leave you to it. Wait, stay with me. I want moral support. Okay. Uh, sorry. JJ, I saw that. Sorry, I just have some dust in my eye. I was just trying to... 
blink it out. It's still okay now. Are you still there, darling? Yes, right here, darling. Okay, good. I missed you. Nothing. Just bored. You look good. What? You look so good. Why don't you send me some more photos? Wow, you're like the most perfect lady I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of ladies. Um, Mrs. Assman, I have to go to the bathroom. No, but I have IBS and I'm- Okay, there's a bucket in the back corner. You ain't fooling me this time. Okay, next up we have Mike. What? Did you do the project? What project? Okay, F. Fair enough. JJ, you're up. Time to shine. My presentation by J.J. Johnson. Now, can someone tell me the difference between this and this? Yeah, one is bad for you and the other one isn't. Duh. Wong, they're both bad for you. Have you ever noticed that pretty much nobody our age smokes these anymore? But a lot of people smoke these? It's because we've been taught that these are bad for you. So, Big Tobacco did a little repackaging and made them cute and colorful to keep us hooked. Which brings me to my next marketing ploy. How natural gas is bad for you. Oh, this project. But it's like natural, it's fine. It has natural in the name. Exactly. The gas industry has developed this term to make us believe that it's safe. But there is nothing natural or safe about it. It is toxic methane gas. Um, wait, like how is it toxic? Great question. Emma, you have asthma, correct? Yeah. 12.7% of childhood asthma is caused by gas stoves in the United States. That's so rude. Yes, yes it is rude. And if your kitchen has poor ventilation, you could have higher levels of nitrogen dioxide than what the EPA considers legal for the outdoors with just a few minutes of stove usage, which could put you at risk for respiratory issues. So we're like being kept hooked on gas. Yes, we just don't realize it. Companies like Southwest Gas are working in Arizona and Nevada to block any type of ban or restriction on gas as a utility. These restrictions are often proposed to phase out natural gas and move to the electrification of utilities, which would hurt their profit. That's not cool, bro. Oh my god, we should stage like an intervention. Exactly. The end. Great job, JJ. A plus. Really? Does this mean you like me now? No.